Hey guys, so you already know that I love reviewing products that might help you as a small business owner or even a really, really busy business person, entrepreneur. Maybe you're somebody who's constantly multitasking. Maybe you're somebody who loves time saving. And so I am definitely all about that. If I can increase efficiency in my personal life and thereby increasing it in my business, then I'm more than likely going to be all over the product. As you can see, the video is going to be a little bit bouncy. So I will stabilize it as the video goes on, so don't worry. Um, but I am recording right now with the lazy iPhone neck mount holder and I thought oh my gosh This is a perfect gadget like if I need to be talking on the phone What if I'm on the phone with a client and I'm on the treadmill, but I want to be hands-free? Um, you know, I like to sway my arms or I like to you know when I uh, When I jog on the treadmill or anywhere obviously like your arms are swaying back and forth like this and so like I don't want to be holding the phone because how can you talk and hold a phone and you know use your arm motions so when I saw this I was like oh my gosh this could be really really cool by the way if you're somebody who likes to read you need to download this app right here it's called readly I absolutely love it this is not sponsored this is not an ad but I do like readly for the reason that for ten dollars a month you get access to so many magazines I forget exactly how many but it's quite a lot you can get access from everything to like entertainment all the way to education no for me that usually means that i'm reading entrepreneur magazine and also inc magazine because they're all about entrepreneurship they tell entrepreneurship stories um they always give business advice but anyway 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 readly it's only 10 bucks a month um and i'll drop a code below down in the description if they do have one so that you could take advantage of maybe like uh free 30 days so i was laying in bed the other day and i was reading uh entrepreneur magazine on the readly app and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, because I was facing up and I thought, how can I have some help here? Like, I need somebody laying next to me who can hold the phone up for me um, because my arm, just after a while, it starts to fall asleep. Well, my fingers start to fall asleep um, and they just get really uncomfortable. So I'm like, how can I keep my hands from falling asleep and still hold my phone? Um, so anyways, then I saw this product and I thought, oh my gosh, that would be so hilarious. I'm going to really try it because I do think I need it. So here I am. So I'm going to tell you uh, what I think are like the benefits and things that I would change if this was my product. And this is going to be super important because if you're somebody that wants to sell on Amazon or you're a private labeler or you just want to start your own product, listen, also if you watch Shark Tank or you listen to these types of channels, you'll know that products are, are always based on two things one an improvement on another product so that means that they're very rarely like new and innovative ideas that nobody's ever thought of because if you google your idea chances are there's already an existing product out there so always think about how to improve upon an existing product okay but anyway so what do i really think of this um you know little neck iphone holder i mean is it really let me see how far how far you can get to see can you see Okay, I'll show you from a different angle and also I'm gonna show you so that it's not so bouncy because I bet that's kind of annoying. Okay, so I don't know if it's because I'm fairly new to using this product and I haven't quite figured out how to tweak it so that it's super, super comfortable, but I can tell you that one drawback of this cushioned um, neck mount is that it starts, see, you'll see like if I let it go, if I'm not holding it, like it goes downward, right? I mean, naturally because this pillow like sort of lifts up like this. And so the front comes down a little bit. So it's at an angle. So it's kind of uncomfortable because it feels like the neck pillow with enough force is pushing on the back of my neck um, and the back of my head. So it's kind of like the thing is coming up and it's pushing against my head. So it's a little bit uncomfortable in that way. Maybe there's a way to tweak it so that it doesn't do that so much. Um, but so far, I do see that as one drawback. My, you know, I do think that unconsciously, you, I'm kind of going like this, like picking up my shoulders so that, you know, I give it more like stability. I know it's hard to see, but like, watch if I go like this. Yeah, you'll see, like I, I start to pick up my shoulders to kind of give it stability if I want to go hands-free. And so obviously that's gonna become uncomfortable because it's making me more tense and really this is supposed to be relaxing. So here I am and I'm recording with my hands now, with my one hand so that you can see what the mount actually looks like. So it's um, it has like this foam cushioning 
right here. Um, and then of course it has like the little holder right here. So how do you place your phone in here? Well, it is specifically for an iPhone or an iPod, I think. I think an iPod will fit in here. But this is where you position it, right? So like I still have it around my neck. So this is my view right here. And then this is where you would place the iPod or the phone. And then of course it has like this little adjustable thing right here so that you can expand it to fit your phone um, horizontally. And then of course, as you can see, you are able to kind of tilt it um, a little bit. See, so there you go. I would say it tilts about, let's see if we can see the back here. Yeah, see, you'll see there. Yeah, so you can kind of tilt it, you know, from left to right and then up and down a little bit. So, you know, it is nice and convenient in that way, but I can say that right now my neck does feel a little bit uncomfortable. So I also thought it would be a good idea to try the product as I was laying out by the pool today because I thought, oh my gosh, that's perfect. Who wants to be holding a phone when you're out by the pool, but you still want to be able to watch something um, at a really convenient angle, like right in front of you, and then to be able to adjust it with the adjuster left, right, up, down. Yeah, so here was the result of that, you know, kind of walking around, talking on the phone and um, trying to look at some stuff and see how it would feel. But again, I did, that's where I initially started to feel some of the discomfort. So maybe if you're just laying down and you're not like walking around or you're not on your exercise bike, like maybe it'll be a little bit more comfortable because uh, I don't know. I don't know. So I think that if I was to rate this product for comfort, I would probably give it on a scale from one to 10, I would probably give it a, a three. And if I was rating it for, um, for my ability to multitask, I would say I would probably give it a five because like I said, I, I started to kind of tense up in an effort to like hold it in place so that my phone wasn't bobbing so much. Um, and also just because it was naturally bobbing on my neck, the fact that I still had to focus on keeping it stabilized on my neck meant that I couldn't really focus completely on other things. But as an entrepreneur, how important is it for you that you are able to multitask comfortably because let me ask you this question in business you're gonna have to wear a lot of hats right especially at the beginning if you're bootstrapping or if you don't have a lot of help and you're you know you're trying to do everything on your own efforts which by the way is totally normal for some people they try to do it all on their own because they are bootstrapping like i said so don't feel bad if that is you and you are watching this channel but my point is that do you think you're supposed to feel comfortable in the process of multitasking? I mean, cause there's kind of a bigger lesson here with this like iPhone neck mount holder thing. Um, and I'll also link it below if you feel like you wanna try it. Um, again, this one is not sponsored. This is not an ad. It's just a product that I wanted to try for myself because I wanted to see if it would actually improve the quality of my multitasking. But hey, the take home lesson for me is maybe that in the process of multitasking, it's not always going to feel comfortable, right? So there are tools out there that exist to help make your life a little bit easier so that you can maybe get three things done at once instead of just one thing done at once. But there is a learning curve that might make you uncomfortable. There is a discomfort that goes along with learning something new. And even if you're not learning it and you're just putting on a neck mount, like am I supposed to feel 100% certain about it if it's supposed to help me multitask? Like what do you think? I'm really curious whether small business owners expect to feel comfortable in the process of multitasking. Because multitasking in itself, I, I don't think it's a natural instinct. I think it's a learned instinct based on, you know, our busy lives and the many things that we want to get accomplished and goals and our own ambitious mindset. So it's definitely something that I think is learned, but are you okay with accepting discomfort um, in the process of trying to grow? Um, and maybe that is the lesson here with this neck mount that I never really expected is, okay, here's something that's going to make your life a little bit easier, but maybe you're only going to be able to do, use it in a certain manner. Um, and maybe it's not going to be comfortable if you try to use it in other ways. So although it might improve efficiency, say when you're laying down only, um, then you either have to find a different product or you have to live with the discomfort of knowing that you can use it under one circumstance, but it will help you, you know, feel more relaxed in your arms. So that kind of begs the question, are efficiency and multitasking the same thing? 
do you think those two words can be used interchangeably? So if I want to multitask and I want to be able to talk on the phone and write an email, um, is that the same as being efficient? Well, my first instinct is to say yes, but what was interesting is that in this video right here, they say that monotasking is better than multitasking because they performed a study where they you know, took a look at what was happening inside people's brains in the process of multitasking and of course, uh, efficiency goes down. So your brain is trying to go between writing the email and talking on the phone, and because your brain can't do that and you're using the same like network of neurons or the same network within the same part of the brain or something, um, that you're overloading that circuit and so you can't, ha you're oversaturating the circuit and so you're decreasing efficiency. If you listen to the person talking on the phone, then you're gonna mess up what you're writing in the email. And if you focus on writing the email, then you're gonna miss what somebody said while they were talking to you on the phone. Um, so I think that absolutely makes sense. So do I necessarily think that multitasking is like the best idea? Well, not necessarily, but like, let's say you're listening to a podcast while um, you're like mopping, or let's say you're um, listening to a podcast while you're on your treadmill. Like, is that okay? I would think that's okay because they're not necessarily using like the same parts of the brain, but I don't know. I, I might drop a comment in a, in a neurologist's or a researcher's YouTube channel just to see what they have to say about it. I'm sure there's a study out there. But um, anyway, so do I still endorse multitasking? Well, I think I still endorse efficiency. Um, so in the example that I gave of listening to a podcast while you're on the treadmill, I think it's okay to do that. Um, but I think the speed in which you listen to it might make a difference because I noticed that if I listen to something in 2x, say while I'm washing the dishes or something, like I tend to wash the dishes faster um, and while that might sound good, I kind of feel like I'm in a hurry to get something done. And it's like, well, why am I in such a hurry? Like, this isn't like dishwashing Olympics. Like, who's in dishwashing Olympics here? Nobody. Just me against me. So, in some instances, I think that if you want to relax and also increase efficiency, like, maybe it's worth it to try two things, but maybe not two things that, um, either make you so uncomfortable that you can't even focus on multitasking so anyways in this situation the neck part just I, I don't know my neck was just too uncomfortable to even focus on another task um, so maybe this product works only when you're laying down so let's find out I'm still gonna have the issue of this neck mount like bouncing and bopping up and down so would I be able to use it to read maybe when I'm not really like talking or moving or shaking Possibly, or like what if I'm watching a TV show and so my hands could just be down? Yes, possibly. And what if, I mean, do I still feel the discomfort in the back of my neck? I think I'd have to lay here long enough to figure it out. And right now it's like, what time is it? Right now it's 6.30. So I'm not exactly prepared to like lay here for a long time. Um, but I don't know. I mean, if you're somebody who wants to try it out, I do think it's definitely funny. I mean, we were all wearing the product and kind of like chasing each other around the house like, oh my gosh, this is so funny, sort of like a gag gift. Um, I mean, because it is really funny that somebody thought of inventing this. But guys, I mean, this also drives home the point that you can have an idea that might seem so stupid to somebody, but there's somebody making money off of this product. I think there were like 2,000 something reviews for this product, and obviously it's not the only one of its kind on Amazon. So if you go onto Amazon and you just plug in, you know, neck mount for iPhone or something like that, I mean, you're going to see lots of people selling the product. So what's my point is, do you have to be the only seller of a product? No. Can you be one of millions of people selling the same product? Yes. Can you create an, your own unique brand for this product? Yes. As long as you're able to connect with your customer in some way through marketing or whatnot, um, you know, you shouldn't let the fact that the market might be saturated um, dissuade you because if you have a passion for it, then go for it. So if this video was helpful or if there's anything you want to know about this mount, then make sure you um, drop a comment down below. You know, I'm wondering if a different neck mount would be better, maybe one that's not so like cushiony, but then I'm thinking that just having like a bar would be uncomfortable behind your neck. So I don't know. It'd be a matter of trying it out. Okay, but anyway, if it was helpful, make sure that you hit subscribe. 
I encourage you to start your own business or if you want to increase efficiency in your business, then consider watching some of these other videos in the product review playlist. I am so happy that you could join me today and hasta luego.